CBS 4 News tonight. Residents in Miami-Dade County might soon have to pay taxes for a new county ambassador program. It's all part of the proposed budget that commissioners discussed yesterday. If it passes, former commissioners will be able to get up to $25,000 a year for making appearances at different events. But right now, not everyone is on board. CBS 4's Joe Gorcho spoke with one commissioner who's requesting part of that proposal. She's questioning it. He joins us live in the newsroom tonight with what she had to say. Joe. Naja, Laura, and Commissioner Raquel Regalado stands in opposition to this proposal. She prefers to table the item. She shares her surprise even to see it listed in the proposed mayor's budget in the first place, believing it's best suited for the regular agenda process. Her concerns about the proposed county ambassador program are wide ranging. No disrespect to uh, former county commissioners, but we already have 13 commissioners, right? Tucked away in the proposed budget is the creation of the county ambassador program. It allows former county commissioners to earn up to $25,000 per fiscal year, representing the county in events like a ribbon cutting, meeting with dignitaries, and even providing consultant services to the chairperson and board. What exactly is this ambassador explaining to people or sharing with people or promising people are they quasi lobbyists are they going to lobby us they could be perceived as being agents of the county commission without the authority of the county commission in thursday's first budget hearing commissioner eileen higgins voiced displeasure she opposes the idea that the chairman has the sole authority to handpick county ambassadors i'm very very uncomfortable with it do you feel like this ultimately becomes comes a sideshow and distraction to the issues when operating billions of dollars for the county for next fiscal year. Yeah, definitely. This proposed ordinance played a part in Regalado rejecting the mayor's proposed budget. So I think the budget needs a lot of work. Regalado has two chief concerns, overall spending on programs while seeking to lower the millage rate by more than 1% as currently proposed in the budget. This is the year to lower the millage and give people back money. So the reality is that this is the most that residents of Miami-Dade County have paid for taxes in the history of Miami-Dade County because of the tremendous property value growth that we have had this year at the worst possible time. And Regalago describes the odd nature of creating a program to hire former county commissioners. We did reach out to 12 of the 13 current commissioners for comment about the ambassador's program. Only Regalado agreed to speak. Joe Gorcho, CBS4 News Tonight.